had a very creepy neighbor once. I actually ended up breaking my lease over how much he creeped me out. He had a bit of an uncanniness about him. It was mainly his pupils. While they were round, I can't really say they were circular. It was almost as if they were being flexed into a more round shape than they would naturally look without putting in effort. His eyes were always straining. There were also the veins. For all the marijuana smell coming from his apartment, his beady little eyes never really had the red hue. It was always a bit more bluish. I don't think he actually smoked marijuana. I always had a gut feeling that it was just a cover-up from a more sinister smell. His voice was always very strange. We didn't speak much. But when we did, it was almost sounded like he was multiple people at once. One time I saw him talking to some other creepily similar looking dude in the hall and I swear his mouth didn't even move. He always had people coming in and out of his apartment, but I definitely feel like I've seen more people enter than leave. I'm not exactly sure what they were getting up to in there, but I've always been the lot live and let live type, so I never questioned him. Sometimes I wish I did. For all his creepy features and haunting presence, nothing can compare to the fear I felt when I went to confront him about some weird chant he was doing late into the night with his creepy friends. I always figured the guy was into occultism, and usually that would bother me, but it was now midnight and I had to get up early for work. When I left my apartment to go knock on his door, I noticed a shimmering glow coming from below the gap. I was a bit scared, but I figured he probably just had the TV on or one of those color-changing LED strips. Th then came the smell. It was a chemical smell mixed with putrid marine rot that grew very intense, causing my lungs and sinuses to burn. My eyes began to water profusely as I lifted my hand to knock on the door, but my arm felt too heavy, as did the rest of my body. The walls began to melt and breathe, almost as if I was tripping on the psychedelic drugs, and I collapsed on the floor. As I laid on the ground, the chanting grew louder and stranger. I, I don't know what they were saying, but the sounds didn't sound like anything humans should be able to produce. Everything in my vision began to melt away into an inky blackness when suddenly the chanting was accompanied by some strange-sounding piping instrument and monstrous pounding of drums. I shrieked out in pain as the heavy gravity faded and my very blood felt as if it was starting to crystallize. Have you ever been shocked so badly you couldn't move? That's sort of what it felt like when I lost total control of my body and began to twist and contort into a hellish dance. I don't know how long I painfully waltzed to that horrible eldritch symphony alone in the blackness. I went completely insane, and time lost all meaning. The piping and drumming got louder, so loud that I thought the sound would tear my flesh apart. That's when I felt the demonic presence of something truly horrible beyond comprehension looming just over my head. Suddenly I was completely overcome with a pain that I felt like the crystallization of every single cell in my body accompanied with the strangest mix of fear and nostalgia. I did not want to look up, but I had no choice. By the mercy of God, I have no recollection of what happened after this. All I remember is my head starting to turn towards the sky. And then I blacked out. I woke up in my kitchen at 12.01 a.m., only about a minute after the time I got up to go confront my neighbor, and there was no more chanting or sound. I nervously got up and peeked out my door. 
Not sure whether or not I should feel relieved at the lack of light and smell coming from the neighbor's apartment. I quit my job that day and moved back home within a week. I wish I could forget that experience, but I still hear that rhythm sometimes. When it's quiet and I'm alone. I have also been sleepwalking every now and then since that night. I set up a camera once when I checked the footage and saw myself doing that hellish dance. I vowed to never record myself again. The worst reminder, however, is my new boss has the same weird eye thing going on. <laughs>